What's up, guys? Jeff here for Mad Hatter's Reef, and today we got a brand new video for you where we're going to take a look at the top 10 fish that I would put into a 55-gallon aquarium. Now, before we jump into that, if this is your first time being here, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. Now, a few months ago, I was making videos based off from tank size and the fish that I had put into those, and I was doing it in a top 10 style. And quite a few of you in those videos asked for a 55-gallon version of that. And I happened to skip over that, and I went right to the 75-gallon, which I felt like was going to be pretty similar. But you guys have overwhelmingly have asked for the 55-gallon version of in this series so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 saltwater fish that i would put into a 55 gallon aquarium now these fish may not necessarily work together so it's very important to make sure that you do your research and find out what fish work well together what ones probably aren't going to work well together do that research before you go out and purchase fish on your own i definitely encourage that but without further ado let's jump into the top 10 Saltwater fish that I would put into a 55 gallon reef tank. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 saltwater fish for a 55 gallon reef tank is the green reef chromis. Now, this guy is considered easy to care for. I say that even though that I haven't had a tremendous amount of success with this guy. And for me personally, I would love to have a school of green chromis in my reef tank. They are considered peaceful have a omnivore base that are considered reef safe, can grow upwards of four inches. And these guys can get a little bit weird looking when they get larger. But it, you need to have a much bigger tank for these guys to kind of grow out and be to that point. And not necessarily, you know, the average reefer, especially one that's looking to stock a 55-gallon aquarium has to worry about. The minimum tank size for these guys is 30 gallons. Coming in at number nine on our top 10 saltwater fish for a 55 gallon reef tank is the firefish. Now, these guys are absolutely beautiful. There's a tremendous amount of coloration in them. Not going to break the bank either. Decent price. Typically, you can find these guys between $12 and $20. Care level, easy, peaceful, temperament, carnivore based that are considered reef safe, can grow upwards of three inches and require a minimum tank size of 20 gallons. Now, a word of caution with this fish, they need to have a lid. If this fish becomes startled, they are known jumpers and could potentially jump out of your reef tank if they become startled. Something to take into consideration. And for those of us that have rimless tanks, a lid, not the most beautiful thing on a rimless tank. But if you want to keep this guy, you want to make sure he's safe and sound, put a lid on it. Coming in at number eight on our top 10 saltwater fish for a 55 gallon is the tail spot blenny. These guys are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, omnivore base that are considered reef safe, grow upwards of two and a half inches, and require a minimum tank size of 10 gallons. Now, as far as blennies go, even the tail spot blenny included, they are some of my most favorite fish. There's a tremendous amount of personality in these guys. And they're definitely a fish that you want to have lots of nooks and crannies and little holes in the rock work because they tend to like to hide quite a bit. The other thing about these guys is they are voracious eaters and will consume unsightly algae in your tank. So it's definitely a fish that is going to do some work for you and get some stuff done. A great addition to a reef tank. Check them out. The tail spot blenny. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 saltwater fish for your 55 gallon aquarium is the cardinal fish now these guys are actively captive bred or tank raised or aquaculture whatever you want to call it and the best part of a aquaculture saltwater fish is they already are adapted to aquarium life so you're not taking fish off the wild reefs they are already adapted to tank life and you're not going to stress them out by putting them into too small of an aquarium and most often they're going to actively feed so you don't have to worry about that break-in period where are they going to eat pellets or dry foods are you going to have to go out and buy frozen foods and try to entice these fish to eat they're all ready to go and are well adapted well adjusted 
to aquarium life and that's what makes them a great addition to a reef tank. These guys are considered easy to care for, are semi-aggressive, have a carnivore-based diet, are considered reef safe and can grow upwards of 3 inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Coming in at number 6 on our top 10 saltwater fish for a 55-gallon aquarium is the 4-line wrasse. Now, this guy is not to be confused with the 6-line wrasse, and I've done a lot of research on this guy, and there seems to be some mixed information out there because uh, the 6-line wrasse, you know, some folks have some good ones, some folks have some not-so-good ones. I've been one of those folks that's had the not-so-good 6-line wrasse, but there is a, a overwhelming amount of information out there that supports that this guy is not as aggressive as a six line ras obviously a little bit more expensive and is going to kind of serve the same purpose which a six line ras is known for eating a lot of pests flatworms and other unsightly little microfauna that can enter into your reef tank and the big thing about ras is is they do provide a pretty awesome pest removal service one thing that you need to take in consideration anytime that you want to keep wrasses in your reef tank, you need to have a sand bed because they end up digging into the sand and sleeping in there during the night hours. And it's also incredibly important to put a lid on your tank, much like you would with a firefish. These guys are considered easy to care for, have a semi-aggressive temperament, carnivore-based diet, are considered reef safe, can grow upwards of 3 inches and require a minimum tank size of 20 gallons an absolute beautiful fish the purples the blues in this guy phenomenal a little bit heavier on the price but definitely something to consider for your 55 gallon aquarium check them out the four line ras coming in at number five in our top 10 saltwater fish for a 55 gallon aquarium is the yellow watchman goby this is probably one of my most favorite bottom dwelling saltwater fish and i actually did an entire video on bottom dwelling saltwater fish so if you want to check that out there's a little thing popping up right here check that out doing that clicking of the little thing floating words are a struggle they are considered easy to care for have a peaceful temperament carnivore based at our reef safe and grow upwards of four inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons now even though it says that these guys are peaceful i have seen some of my yellow watchman goby show signs of aggression if somebody gets a little too close to their cave definitely a interesting and beautiful fish not going to break the bank the yellow watchman goby check them out coming in at number four in our top 10 saltwater fish is the royal grama now these guys are a beautiful addition to a reef tank the colorations on these guys are hard to beat as far as saltwater fish go they are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament as long as you don't get one of those ones that has a little bit of attitude in there. They are a carnivore, are considered reef safe, grow upwards of 3 inches, and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Now I kind of touched on the fact that these fish, even though that it says that they're peaceful, there is some semi-aggressiveness going on with them. And The reason that I say that is because my mom actually had one of these in her 30-gallon aquarium. And that guy kind of took over the roost and got very large, much bigger than what the uh, typical growth of these guys are, and definitely developed a territorial attitude. Now, a lot of times when you have a fish that reaches maturity, it can develop some aggressiveness, and that has a lot to do with the breeding of that fish, and definitely something to understand that there's always going to be exceptions to the rule especially when it comes to saltwater fish coming in at number three in our top 10 saltwater fish is the snowflake clownfish now the snowflake clownfish isn't necessarily something that occurs in nature it's a captive bred fish that has kind of been selected through different morphs and this is the end product and there's been a number of different types of selective breeding that has taken place that creates these designer type clownfish. Now I have a video that is dedicated to designer type clownfish and if you want to check that out there will be a link in the description. There will also be a little thing that pops up somewhere on the screen right now. 
And as far as I'm concerned, a clownfish is a staple in any reef tank. doesn't matter what size it is. Anything north of 10 gallons, I'd be putting a clownfish in. And they are considered easy to care for, peaceful, even though I would say they're probably more along the lines of semi-aggressive. Again, kind of touching on that behavior of breeding. Omnivore-based diet are considered reef safe, can grow upwards of 3 inches, and require a minimum tank size of 20 gallons. Check them out, the Snowflake Clownfish. Coming in at number two in our top 10 saltwater fish for your 55-gallon reef tank is the Coral Beauty. Now, I'm not going to say just any Coral Beauty you can throw into a 55-gallon because in many cases, this fish kind of requires a 75-gallon aquarium. But I'm going to recommend a captive-bred Coral Beauty for a 55-gallon because, again, we've already touched on this, but a fish that is aquacultured, is more adapted to aquarium life, is going to be used to smaller environments. It's not a fish that was selected or harvested off of a wild reef. It's one that has grown up within aquariums and that is going to make it more well suited for a smaller aquarium. These guys are considered easy to care for, semi-aggressive, have an omnivore based diet, are reef safe with caution. Sometimes they are known nippers at corals and the way that you would go about figuring that out is have a quarantine tank not necessarily with medication, but corals in there and see if this guy would be, or the one that you have, would be a little bit of a nipper prior to adding it to your reef tank. That's a good way to figure that out. They can grow upwards of four inches and require a minimum tank size of 70 gallons. But again, with a aquacultured saltwater fish, I believe that you can get away with adding one to a slightly smaller aquarium. Check it out, the Captive Bred Coral Beauty. And coming in at the number one spot on our top 10 is the Blue Dot Jawfish. Now, this is probably one of the most beautiful saltwater fish in the hobby, and they are definitely a great addition to a reef tank. A fish that can grow a little bit bigger but can go into a smaller aquarium due to its habits. It likes those little nooks and crannies and builds a little home or a little cave towards the bottom of the tank. They are considered moderate care level semi-aggressive carnivore and are considered reef safe grow upwards of three and a half inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons all right guys that's going to do it for today's video if you want to learn more about adding saltwater fish to your reef tank check this video out i'll see you over there